Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again. The update is finally here, and now we have Enmu and Yushiro and Tamayo. We just had a look at Enmu in the lab, so now let's go with Yushiro and Tamayo. Enmu was a whole blessing. He was an awesome character. Let's hope that Yushiro and Tamayo do not disappoint. Because Enmu set the bar high. Really, really high. Like, so much so that in the first five minutes, I'm pretty sure he's going to be my main demon, or my main character. He looks so fun. So, let's look at Yushiro and Tamayo. Regular attacks. Oh, a very long attack string. Does about average damage, though. Down attack string. Pretty long um, knockdown, and I have a lot of time to move around afterwards. Up combo. Okay, all pretty average. and But seem like they have pretty short range. Like, he doesn't move very far forwards. How about if I do the long-reaching version? Oh, he actually moves pretty far forwards if you do the, the long version of his attacks. So that's really good. His grab. Oh, he does decently far forwards, like around here. Oh, uh, yeah, about average. Not awful, but not excellent. And he does above average damage for his grab. That's great. And has a really long, hard knockdown. That's really good for building some meter or maybe doing setups, because I'm pretty sure he's going to have Lady Tamayo setups. Hey, look how long Sabito was just sitting on the ground there. That's awesome. Um, his tilt attack. Right, yeah. So we were right. That is just his regular tilt attack. It's got three hits. He moves himself forwards with each hit, which is kind of cool, so you can, like, approach the opponent while you're being armored. That's pretty cool. Tilt attack in the air. Pretty basic dive kick. Doesn't move too far forwards, and he doesn't have an extension, but at least he gets combos off of it. Ah, uh, regular attacks in the air. Two hits, and then the flop down. Seem pretty average. Probably not going to be too good for neutral since, you know, he just does two punches there. His dive kick. Yeah, it seems kind of average. All of his attacks seem kind of not that excellent, but hopefully he makes up for it in other spaces. Um, oh, yeah, his armor attack seems pretty cool. Okay. Special one. Interesting. I imagine he can combo off of that. Yeah, okay. So, it starts a yellow combo, too, but it's just basically a bunch of hits that go a decent amount forwards. He rushes forwards. And then you can just do it a few times. It doesn't do an excellent amount of damage for the amount of time it takes, only 1,000. Especially considering he already has a long attack string. So if I do, like, a full attack string into this... That's more than half of my time already gone. I don't really have much time to do anything else. So... Seems like a pretty good combo tool. And I wonder how it looks like on block. Actually, it might be zero or maybe advantage on block. I'm not sure. But it looks like it'd be really good against pushback. Because it's this like really advancing special move. He advances with each each punch he keeps running forwards so even though the opponent keeps trying to push you back you keep like running in with each punch so that might be really good pressure tool for people that like to push back um we'll see Ooh, okay so we were right this is his tilt special nice okay so it we were right it's like susamaru where he does a sidestep and then does a move where she threw just threw a projectile Yushiro does a long dash in. How far does he go? A decent distance. Okay. Not full screen, but like around mid screen. And it's a combo starter. Nice. Okay. Wow. Okay. He's making up for it. So dashes in, does these rapid punches, and then bounces the opponent up in the air for a combo. Okay. Okay. So... Oh, sorry. This special move is obviously going to be really good in the same way that Susamaru's will be. Um, or that is. Because hers, it's just really amazing that you can sidestep and attack in the same, like, sequence, in the same move. Because sidesteps, they have a lot of recovery. So, like, I can sidestep, but I can't really dash in quickly after the sidestep. I have to wait a bit. But with this special move, I sidestep and dash in so quickly. So it'll be really... Oh, it'll be really good against zoning characters who have projectiles. So like Yahaba and Susamaru and stuff. Who have projectiles that have decent tracking, but not enough tracking to track a sidestep. So you dodge a projectile, run in, 
get a combo starter, and then go for whatever combo. I'm not sure what's going to be a great. <laughs> it's just from the random stuff we've already seen. Okay, pretty cool. And from the air. Oh, yeah, I'll test this one from the air as well. Okay, ooh, nearly the same. But does it start a combo? Yes, it does. Cool. So even if I do this from the air, I can make a double bounce by doing this. Oh, but then I'm too high in the air. <laughs> Interesting, though. If I do my up combo. Hmm. Interesting. Um, this one in the air. Yeah, he just dashes onto the ground. So that can be a really good way of faking out the opponent. Like, they think you're going to be in the air. And then you get to sidestep, down on the ground, dash up on them, get a combo. And that's the next special move we're looking at. Debilitating Blow. Oops. So, not invincible, not armored. Yeah, I was just checking if I'm blind. Uh, does 700 damage. I guess it bounces the opponent. Yeah. Hmm. Can I hold it down? Oh, what did that do? Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. It goes far. And what does the holding down do? Because, see, I can hold it down, then I get a little bit of that, like, demon glow for a second. So how far does it go, though? Does it go further if I hold it? Not really. It goes a similar range to this one. Seems like nearly everything he has is a combo extender, so that's good. But this one doesn't seem to do much damage. So I guess it's more of a linear way to get in on the opponent, whereas this one does a dodge and then does a sidestep. If he thinks the opponent's going to be doing something, he can just, like, dash in and do this flip kick. Oh, then you can do that. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Is th their action on block any different? Can I can- Oh, is it kind of like Shinobu where I can cancel it? Okay. That's interesting. So it's kind of like Shinobu how I can cancel it in the air into another special move. Like, ooh, like that. I can dodge out of the way, then do this thing. That looks really interesting. And how about the held version? Is it unblockable? No. I don't understand what the point of holding it down might be. It doesn't seem like it makes it more advantageous on block either. Maybe the command list will tell me. But they don't seem to be very useful anyways. Special attack. If your opponent attempts to hit, you will dodge and counterattack. Invincible while dodging. Wait. What? How is it invincible while it's... Huh? Hold to extend the dodge time. It consumes 20% of skill gauge. Wait, so it is invincible. Interesting. Interesting? Let's see. Did they just forget to code that in? Oh, okay. I've eat my words. There is something interesting happening here. How quickly does it activate, though? Oh, did he just... <laughs> okay, let me put him not on hard, because maybe he's screwing me over. Ooh. So, if I just do it normally... Oh, okay, I take it back. This is very, very interesting. So, even though it's not invincible, it's a parry on... That's really amazing. So, it's a parry, but even if you don't hit the parry... Even if you don't hit the parry, you just get to hit them with a, a combo starter. Mm, but it seems like as soon as it activates, as soon as he does the run forwards, the tracking is cancelled and he's not in a parry stance. Which is okay, because it would be kind of ridiculous if he was. But that's very interesting. Now, can I combo off of the parry? Maybe if I do... Whoa. Maybe if I do my extended... Yeah, okay, so you have to hold forwards on your attack string to combo off of it. Interesting. Wait, was this... 
Did this just Amma through something? No. So, but it doesn't seem like the parry starts up instantly. It starts up decently quick though. And then it just starts a combo and does a little bit more damage than it would have normally. It's a bit hard to combo off of. For some reason it didn't work again there. I am holding forwards. Maybe I have to wait a little bit. Oh, and that means if I'm ever like whiffing buttons and doing something like this, like an idiot, I can cancel into my parry to counter whatever he tries to do to punish me. Okay, you cannot combo into that. Just trying to test things out. He seems like a very strange character. Holy god, why is this so hard to combo off of? And maybe that's a hard knockdown and you get something there? Interesting. We won't spend too much time. Wow, it seems like it has really good range. Oh, wait, 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 what? I eat my words. Did you just see that? He parried while he was running in? What? Okay, I take back everything I said about this move. So the only way you can really beat it is by sidestepping. If they press buttons at any point, except for it's like while you jump into the air to do the flip. It'll do- uh -huh, interesting. So as soon as he jumps into the air to do the flip, that's when he becomes vulnerable. I wonder if I can like, cancel into a special move to make it easy to combo off of? Seems like I don't even have to do that. Um. Yeah, you can cancel the last hit. So you can actually just go for your invincibleness off of the parry. And then do anything you want. Like I could, I went for a special move there before. So I can cancel it into itself or into this special move. Interesting. Wow, that's very fascinating special move. Okay, let's not worry about the one special move for the whole video. Let's bring out- Ooh, okay. I thought nothing happened, but she comes out very gently and without- Look, wait. It comes- Ooh, that's very interesting. So even though I've spent my meter, it comes out a lot later. So maybe that's a good way of- Like, it's a very sneaky special move. The opponent can't see that you did it. So like, I press it now. And now she comes out and the thing comes on screen. So now what does it do? So she just teleports right to him. Oh, so is that just poison? It's a different effect to regular poison though. Maybe that's just a different, slightly different poison effect to Kocho's, but it does it's effectively the same thing it seems. He's got a weird particle effect on him, but it's not like I can ignite it or anything, I don't think. Oh, oops. So can I combo off of this? Oh, it starts a red combo. It does a lot of damage. Um, A lot of a lot of poison damage. It does this big burst. It does zero damage on its own, though. I feel like... Can I use it in the middle of my combos? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that could be really interesting for getting um, combo extensions, but because it's so slow, it's going to be really hard to time. So maybe if I do it at the beginning of this special move? Hmm. Like, maybe if I do it now. Oh, I did the wrong one. Maybe if I do an up combo? Mm, interesting. So there could be some combo extensions you can do with that. And it seems like it'll add a lot of damage to your combo because it has that huge poison effect, just like Shinobu. Okay, now this version, that red circle tells me that this is probably... Oh, it's a tracking unblockable. That does zero damage, but it leads to a crumple. Yeah, so these characters, all of the ones, Enu included, are just the kings of... A oh! Excuse me? That is a yellow combo I see there. And let me, let me just check that I'm not being dumb. This is an unblockable. Yeah. So you can see here. Sabito's blocking. But if I bring out Tamayo. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. That was just an example, but I just realized how awesome this could be. Especially with this move that we said could be really good against pushback. He's going to have really decent pressure. So if I'm doing something like this... Look, in the middle of this sequence, I can just throw in an unblockable. And, unlike Enmu, this unblockable starts a yellow combo. So I can get a full combo going off of this. So I'm doing some, like, you know, opponent's blocking me. Oh, okay, don't do that one because you start running and then you escape it. Ooh. Go for a hard knockdown to build your meter back. Okay, I see what you're trying to do here, Yushiro. I see what you're doing. Very, very interesting. But the regular version is just a hit. And it doesn't do anything on block. I feel like the unblockable is a lot more useful. I guess you the um the massive poison damage one is mainly gonna be for use. Um See like this one can be really easily used to extend combos because it leads to such a long crumple state. Like, I can run in from all the way over here and I'm getting a yellow combo. That is so crazy. So if the opponent's standing still... Oh, this is going to be so powerful against someone like Yahaba. Who just likes to stand still and throw projectiles from the other side of the screen. Because she comes out so quietly. All of a sudden, she's just there. And then you don't have too much time to escape once you see her. So, like, he'll be throwing projectiles and doesn't realize that I've summoned this. And then, boom, I can run in and get a full combo going. Which doesn't seem like my full combos are doing a ton of damage, but I'm sure if I optimize, I'll start being better, hopefully. <laughs> okay, never mind. Maybe I will not get better at combos. Okay, let's check out his ultimate activation. Check how far it goes. Decently far, but not anything spectacular. Ooh, Lee's really close. Which means you leave you really close, you can go for a lot of unblockableness <laughs> and setups. Because she can either just do an attack and then you go for a grab, or she can do an unblockable and you go for attacks. Really good at covering each other's backs, these guys. Wow. Um, let's check out the boost combo ender. Ooh, okay, so he does like a dash in, does that. Also leaves the opponent very close. <gasps> whoa, 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 wait. Does this unblockable have a long hit time? Because, hmm, just a sec. Let me get a hard knockdown. Is this a hard knockdown? <gasps> no way. So as you can see, whoa, so having a lot of hit frames means that even if when sh she doesn't just do the attack once, so as long as those flowers are out, the opponent can get hit by this unblockable? Wait, let me get a longer hard knockdown. Let's see how long this lasts. So if I bring her out now, okay, that was way too early. He wasn't even standing up. To it now. That was still too early. Okay. Oh, he woke up into it then. Yo, okay, that's kind of really, really ridiculous. Enmu doesn't have that. All of his unblockables are just an instant flash, but hers. Okay, that seems kind of ridiculously overpowered. Let me see if their AI has anything to say about that. So let me put turn the AI on to very hard and see if they do something magical to beat this. <laughs> Other than breaking my combo. I did it too early. <laughs> Wait, I just want to get a hard knockdown. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, this will be the last thing I test. What? Why are you guarding? Whoa, that seems really overpowered. So when any time, okay, I can see why he probably gets little damage now because it seems like he has just straight up unblockable setups. So if I do this, 
summon her, do that again. And obviously can, I can do a longer combo than this, but the fact that as long as I have demon skill I can do these unblockable resets. And then I... Okay, this seems like a very interesting character. I thought he seemed a little bit bland at first, but there's a lot of interesting stuff happening here. A, with this parry, this parry that also starts a combo if it's not a parry. He has a dodge that starts combos. He has a weird, interesting, like, long attack string that it will be good against, like, um, pushback. It seems like I'm just not finding it very easy to get damage with him. What if I do something like... Like... He doesn't have anything with a super long crumple, so I can't go for an armor attack in anywhere unless I use Lady Tamayo. Um, his combo pathing seems a lot more restricted and linear than Enmu's, but his setup potential seems even more ridiculous. Ooh, that's kind of cool. If that didn't whiff. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to spend a bit of time to figure out combos with this character. But combining these ridiculous Lady Tamayo special moves that either do a ton of poison or are a crazy long unblockable. And he has really interesting pressure tools with a parry that also starts a combo. A good thing against pushback and this dodge. He's going to be a very intriguing character and I think he's going to take a bit more time in the lab. So I'm going to do that now. But... Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for checking out our first lab session together. I hope you learned something. <laughs> but we'll learn some more when we actually lab him. For real, for real. Do some boring stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you playing some Yushiro very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.